today i went there and i was actually surprised it just brings back the whole vibe of nigeria you know how you go to the market and you come back extremely tired and exhausted or more it was the struggle alone in that store they had everything this is nigeria in manchester basically <laughs> party coming up for my husband's graduation so i wanted to cook like proper nigerian food for friends and family that were coming over for the party so i really wanted that whole nigerian meat chicken the whole nigerian vibe so i decided to go there and this is my first time i definitely will be returning there again because my mind was blown away I'll try to show you guys what they have. To be honest, they have everything. Like, I reached out my sister that I probably wanted her to get me some stuff. And only for me to get there and I see them and I'm like, there's no need. You get me? So I'm going to be unboxing with you guys what I bought. And compared to Smilt Field, the prices are similar. Yeah. And for some, it might be a little bit expensive. And for people that were asking me, oh, is the chicken hard chicken in my last video? Yes, in this store, you can get both hard, soft chicken. And like the whole Nigerian food you're looking for is there. Brokoto, cow leg, the boneless one and the one with bone, liver, towe. This store is massive. The first thing I bought was Malta Guinness. Like, <laughs> a friend of mine, we work in the same place, so I was even one that gave me the idea that, oh, why don't I buy a multi -gizet? It's pretty much affordable. So it is £10. I bought this for £10 and it's 24 in it. So this is going to be enough. This is £10. They have swept, like, oh my God, it brings back Nigerian memories to me. And I think swept is... 14 pound oh no it's 13 pound and some pen another thing that i was surprised to see and this was something that i actually told my sister that i needed because i'm i'm one of those people that love pomo in my stew if you are not like that i don't know but i love pomo in my stew and when i got there i saw pomo standing like you can see how big they are i can't remember how much i got this but they are actually like the uh affordable per se this is about it's between three to five pound and this is three piece of long for more and it's like huge so this i'm going to be using this for ofada sauce i'm going to be using this for i'm going to be adding this to my ofada sauce because i'm going to be making ofada too on that day the next thing i got was i need to open the line on so i can see what i'm showing you guys so i didn't buy as much as i would buy from smooth food because i wanted to try this place and see so this is my boneless cow legs this was about seven pound or eight pound but this is cow leg without bone so everything here is pure flesh and the next thing i bought is liver and yeah their liver is more expensive i needed a little so i didn't want to buy the massive um smooth food um liver that's three pound i mean four pound now i also bought beef i think this was about 10 eight pounds so like i said it's really it's affordable like everything there is affordable and then this is like our normal nigerian meat this is not white like the meat you get from new food like this is the whole nigerian taste meat so i'll still be going back to smooth food to get my tomato my pepper my bell peppers and the rest because it's cheaper compared to this place but the meat in this place is nigerian meat like it tastes like our regular nigerian meat and it's hala for my muslim subscribers so you can go there comfortably and buy your meat and eat and yeah i'm looking forward to this meat because i already have tasted this because my colleague brought food for everyone and all of us ate and when i tasted the cow meat oh god i remember those nigerian party all those confirmed party that they will pack meat for us that's the vibe i got so yeah 
if you miss home, like I am already, you can go to this place and you will honestly no need to, not need to ask your family to bring or send stuff. They have everything. They have ugu already frozen up. They have almost all the vegetable, all the crayfish, all the stock fishes, like everything you would use. I'm not joking. Everything you will eat in Nigeria is there. The next thing I bought that was a good buy is this rice. If you first get to the UK, most times <laughs> the first rice we get introduced to is Asda rice, Lady, um, Aldi. I got tired because <laughs> I was not used to that rice. It, it's it's soft. It's so soft when you make it, and then some some of them most of them like kind of what's the word you know how you make rice and then it's almost looking like it's turning into porridge yeah like they just stick to each other and it wasn't always nice with rice and stew but then i discovered this golden stella so they have different products but i think this is like the best so far this was the first one i ever had before i went on to buying um i'm going to put the picture somewhere else but it's also golden golden stella stella and this is 10 kg. I usually will buy this for 25 pound at the store close to my house, like the um, Hala store close to my house. But I got this for 18 pounds 99 today at Mostin. And I'm pretty excited I get to save six pounds. So yeah, that's it, 10 kg. Like, trust me, this rice makes your food comes out, come out very nice, to be honest. So they are different brand but golden seller that's the one that kind of remind me of back home rice if you, if you get my point so yes just out of the way the next thing i bought is palm oil it was three pound 49 pence like i was surprised although this is the one from ghana heritage um, i'm just trying different ones there is no one that i've tried yet and i'm like wow nice so i just keep trying till i find the perfect one that works for me but this is three pound 49 i would have bought this close to me for seven pound most in is actually affordable for the fact that they are selling like african foods the next thing in gain is um this golden penny semovita I don't have an idea what the price is, but yeah, it's something you can also get there. And then I bought this bread, Nigerian bread. My husband and bread. Anyway, my husband bought this bread, not me. <laughs> Wanted to try this bread. It's called Okin Bread by Crown Bakery. And in £1.50 or £1.60, affordable. Another thing I bought was this bit, and this is £1.79. And I usually will buy this for four pound, four pound ninety, in Tesco because it's only Tesco that sells the date that still has the seed in it. So the next thing is, I call this paprika pepper, but this one is for my jollof because it helps make it red. So they sell carton. Um, I think a carton of this was about eight pound. The reason I just bought little one quantity was because. It's as smooth food is cheaper, so I just bought the little I needed for the party. And next thing I bought plantain. This is also very cheap. I think I bought six pieces, and it was one pound twenty-five or so. So not expensive. I usually buy like two or three of it, or maybe five for that one pound. But yeah. Oh, one more, seven. And then this is for the Ofada sauce. They are big, they are massive. Look at how big it is. They sell cartons, but like I said, <laughs> Smith's food is cheaper. So I just bought all the things that they sold for carton. I bought them for like, I just bought like the one of two pound or three pound just to make zero right now. So another thing I bought is chicken. So I'm trying to remember the name of the chicken. Yeah, jumbo chicken, sixteen pound ninety nine. I bought one carton. I want to show you guys if it's because then I bought another one again that was a full chicken and two for five pound. So this is 
one carton of jumbo chicken, which is 16 pounds 99. It is ch cheaper than what I buy from Smith Food. But the difference is this chicken is has like it's fatter. Will I say not fat, full of fat, but I say, but it's bigger. Yeah, that's the word. It's bigger. So I'll show you guys what the tie looks like. It usually come way bigger, so they cut it for you and put it in the nylon. But if you want it like that, now you go sort how you go take cut and when you reach house ball. Like that's one thing Smith Field does not offer for that for the frozen part. They don't open it for you or cut it. This part they do help you open it and cut it. They ask you how many pieces you want for one and then they help you cut it. So that is one pattern. And then I said I bought another chicken which was two for five pounds. It's a whole full chicken. I bought two. It's one for three pounds. And I was like, oh, I want one. And the guy was like, are you sure? Two is for five pounds. And I'm like, all right, yeah, give me two. Anyway, there is Nyash. I'm going to eat it so I can be doing Amibo. Bum bum. I know growing up in the Igbo, in the Igbo family, yeah. And this is the first daughter or the father that gets to eat the bomb bomb of the chicken. But anyway, yeah, they are a full chicken and then they will cut it for you. Like I said, they do the cutting. They're going to cut it for you so you don't have to worry about it. And the last thing I bought was, of course, nyam. I'm the only one that eats nyam in my family. So, yeah. Nyam! I love nyam. <laughs> One of my favorite food. Another thing I noticed is that they have sweet potato, like our own sweet potato. If you are in the UK, you know that the sweet potato that they sell is the red one that's just, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. That just melts like, it's not firm, but yeah. And also this chicken was, a, it's a hard chicken. The two of them is hard. The one I said that two for five pound is harder than this other one, which is a jolly chicken. Because a lot of African people will come and be like, oh, I want hard chicken, I want hard chicken. So, it's either you buy the two for five pounds, or you buy this chicken, which is like hard, but it's not as hard as this one. Because I know that some Nigerians don't like soft chicken. And the chicken that is in Smithfield is soft chicken. So, yeah, you get my point. So, if you went to Smithfield before and you're like, oh, I don't like the chicken, you can go to Mustin Lane and you would find the chicken that you enjoy as a Nigeria that you are. Anyway, so that was all I actually bought. This was like 100 pounds and 30. So, so that I don't end up having questions like my last food video questions, yeah? I'm going to put the address in the description box. I'm going to try and show the video of what the store looks like from the film. I was unable to make so much videos because some parts of the store they did not allow video like the parts where we bought the meat they complained about videos and then like i said the store was was filled with a lot of people so it was so tight and everybody was really struggling to get to places so and i didn't want people to feel offended that there was a camera in their face so i'm going to put the name of the store the address Add under the in the description box because when I was going I realized that a lot of store when giving themselves the same name as this store I'm going to leave everything in the description so if you come to my comment section please don't ask me where the address is again just say thank you for this information and until then stay fabulous bye